I don't know how much of this I'll get done today, but it needs done. Uh, I feel like crack, to be honest. But anyway, wait till I set this up before the sun gets too strong. I think you can see it, I'm not too sure. Anyway, this cover's to be rolled up. I'll just sit it at the back of the wall there and uh, put a couple of rocks on it. Because what I have to do, our French building friend popped along the other day, so I've talked him into helping me with the posts and putting uh, cement in the corners. But to save money, I'm going to dig the corners out. I know, I'm mad. It's good as the attire, but I'm working, so the tatty teddy socks are on. And all the old clobber. Uh, what was I going to say? Aye, this is all needing squared off. I think it's 290 one way and 270 the other way. So I'll probably make it about 260 all the way around and then I've got to put, dig out the four sections of 30, 30 centimetres square and the same 30 centimetres or a foot down. And as you know, as you've seen, um, it could pop up quite a few surprises in terms of rocks, etc, etc. Not too sure how much I'm going to get done, but uh, I thought I'd pop it on video anyway. We'll see how we got going. Okie dokie. Okay, and it's about to downpour, apparently we're getting stormed tonight, so I'm going to cover up these holes, now they are 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres square, and uh, the same depth down inside down the bottom for the cement to go in. Now as you can see, I think that one over there is probably the worst, some of them a couple of them are larger, but that doesn't matter because we can fold them in due to the fact of these coming out now I knew I would find some stones but I wasn't expecting it's like another top layer of this thing itself so that's took me the best part of the day this afternoon these rocks here were similar to this one here as you can see it is a 30 so I'm just going to leave it to see if John Daniel wants to take it out if that was me, I would just fill in and round about it, because I think it goes away back to there. And I've got enough patching up to do as it is, as you can see. So, that's another job done today, when I just really wasn't feeling up to it at all. But it needed done. I've got these bits here. So I've managed to cut one and two, because we had three, so we've now got four. So I'm now going to place them over these holes and some rocks round about it, similar to that. And hopefully that will stop the rain getting in. Tonight, the aggregate and the cement etc. will be going in each hole, filling it up, making it level. And then we have the metal plates uh, for the posts. And they'll get bolted in to the cement once it's dry. Now that was the plan. So I went away and I got some posts. Um, but they didn't have enough and it's 10 days to get more so I just lifted what I could get in the car brought them home with the four metal bits only for our friend to turn up and change his mind and he says we need to get different metal bits so I need to go back with them and I think I have to order them so it could be 10 days but in the meantime the cement's to go there and then all that's to be levelled off again anyway so no rush and then I can get that pulled down over the back and pegged in and similar down here now i've got an idea for what's going along the three sides here 
but we'll play that by ear. But that's how far we've got at the minute. Quick look around here. I have indeed started making some sort of a rockery. Now when the potatoes are finished this year I'll use the excess compost and just top this up because you know that I've uh, put everything behind me in here uh, but with the amount of tiles etc that's in there and stones there is absolutely plenty of drainage so these have been in here for I don't know a week aye last weekend I think almost a week and everything is thriving last year on one of my videos that that there is all bindweed and uh, nettles and brambles etc all the way up uh, and a couple of guys have told me to use uh, the weed killer and get it all killed off because it's a bloody nightmare. So I've cut all this bit back, you've got all the bindweed away and I've tried to kind of use a great big massive stick and get as much of their stuff away from my fence. Now whether I'm going to cover the fence up from this side I don't know because I do have, um, I do have more of this but I don't know if it will work or not. And I did cut some of the branches of the trees, etc. down and chucked them back over. Most of the plants there that's in here are um, all my own from seeds or mini plants or cuttings that I'd taken last year apart from a couple of cosmos and I think two, two grasses. Everything else is mowing, so that's quite handy. I'll be filling up as and when I see what's in the courtyard and the greenhouse, etc, etc. and I will pop it in. But the only thing is, wait a minute, if I'm not moving too fast, there's a rain on now. It really needs watered non-stop, because it's not getting any water even when it rains, apart from the front of it, due to the trees next door. So anyway, there you go. I better go and get all these tools away and get these holes covered up. But that's just a wee update, guys, so enjoy your Thursday night, whatever you're doing. And Vivi, I hope you've got managed to get some rain, sweetheart. Our Auntie Clarice will need to send you some. Right from me and the hound, as I said, we're off. So until the next video, au revoir, to the pip. Bye bye.